Rose in the backfield with him. Their first drive will start first and 10 at their own 38. Rose has the first carry up the middle. About four and a half. LePage from the pistol formation. Rolling to his right as the option will pitch. Down the sidelines, across the 50-yard line for Pitt State goes Road. With their traditional power offense, does like to take it up the middle. So they're going to try to be solid in the middle to slow this one down. Michael? All right, thank you, Paul. On the reverse, Pitt State knocked out at the 40-yard line. Rose again, and this time he's met at the line of scrimmage. In the past five to seven years. We might just see LePage throw finally. Good coverage. That one will go incomplete to Austin. First and third quarters have been very dominant for the Wonder Boys this year. LePage fires back the other way. As his man across the 35, a lot of running room across midfield. Still going. And will end up out of bounds, but a good play that time. Tim out. Well, that's a that is very much similar to what we saw from Tech on the previous possession. When they allowed the defense to come through, Eastman able to get that catch and run after the fact on the previous touchdown drive. He goes for 45 yards, and Pitt State got something going here. Rose. Not a lot there for Michael Rose. 11. The next game out against Washburn, they did not pass the ball until very late in the second quarter. Rose will be met by three Wonder Boys inside the 30 yard with third and 19 a moment ago. It's third and 12 now, or second and 19, now third and 12. I want to go incomplete across the middle. Great coverage. I think the catch is going to be made right here. It was a great hit. Timed well. I think that goes for both players there, but. Uh, there we go. So Pitt State has the ball for the third time. The first drive resulted in a punt. The football is loose. Their second drive was a missed field goal. How is their third drive going to go? They fall back on it. You know, if you want to call it not really, but a fourth score, they'd, they'd score twice on that one. So, I mean, this this really is going the way of the Wonder Boys so far. This is a big possession for Pitt State. They need something to go right. LePage keeps. Thomas LePage, midfield, being chased and will be sent out of bounds in Wonder Boys territory. Nearing the conclusion of the first quarter. Page to Rose, up the middle, inside the 45. Michael, I ask you, who do they play? <laughs> All right. LePage is going to throw a one-handed attempt. Great American Conference is proud of what they're doing. Inside a minute to play. LePage wants to go deep. Not that deep after all. Panko was the intended target. Quarter. He had one 45-yard strike to Tucker Horak. He has to run with it. Met by a couple of wonder boys at the... A lot of young kids, maybe even some adults, seeing their first college game here in person. LePage keeps again. And this time he's met by Seth. They have to get one today. It's third and two for LePage. He has the option. He's not going to gain the yardage needed. Position and find some points. Lorenzo West in motion. Handoff Rose breaks a tackle. Straight through the middle inside the 30. And First down and 10 from the Tech 27. It's Rose again. He cuts inside the 15-yard line for Michael Rose. Senior out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. On the ground again, Rose. Here goes Michael Rose, breaks away to the end zone. Touchdown, Pitt State. Over the last three seasons, but he's missed 12 games due to injury. Roderick will keep, and has first down yardage. Needed six with 297 rushing yards, and as much as he's been out this season, he's still the third leading rusher on this team. On the end around. Uh, Lorenzo West, he's out past the 35 to the 37. It's right there, right next to Joplin down there in the southwestern part of the state. Lorenzo West cannot get any momentum that time. Michael, after Pittsburgh State put its first points of the game on the board, the Arkansas Tech offensive coordinator told his team, watch the blitz, they're going to start coming for you. It seems like they have a couple more adjustments to make on the offensive end when they go back out on the field. Michael? We got 7.26 to play, second quarter. Thank you, Paul. Pitt State trailing 23-7.
Marquette with one completion. Roderick with one. And here's John Roderick. Pumps once, now throws incomplete. Lorenzo West was open. That one was there at the high school about using the name, and they said yes, but we want something out of the deal. As Roderick looks to throw for Pitt State, that'll go incomplete to Panko. We got the raw end of the deal for <laughs> Arkansas High people, but you know, we got the name, right? As uh, Roderick will throw at the 35 yard. You know, it's 1910. There hadn't, maybe the equipment hadn't been used that long. They go back to Franklin again, another catch, and he toes to the sidelines. Senate. After the pickup of seven, it's second down and three. Roderick starting to fire now. And he has Austin Panko with the catch at the two update for you here. Harding University has defeated Ferris State by the score of 16 to 14 on a Tristan Parsley. Harding is advancing only four teams left in the D2 playoffs as Roderick continues to go to work. This time finds Andy Otting, he kind of tripped up, but Way Rose able to be there for the tackle. This is actually farther than last year. Harding advanced only to the quarterfinals. That's where they met Northwest Missouri State in the quarterfinals for the Super Region 3 championship. Rodwick of Rose to his right. Panko moving in motion. Finds Panko, catch inside the 10. Quay Rose wraps him up up high as his team set up second down and six at the Arkansas Tech eight yard line. And Roderick wants to throw. Pitt State out of timeouts. Roderick to the end zone, incomplete pass. He says he caught it. The referee agrees. Brendan Franklin, touchdown Pitt State. Room expecting the run. Miscommunication and a great catch. John Roderick starting the second half at quarterback. Thomas LePage started the game at quarterback. And our first play from screen three. LePage out of the pistol formation. Or sorry, Roderick. He's throwing. Receiver makes the grab. Just boys 46 yard line. Roderick out of the pistol formation has the option. Roderick keeps after a fake. Inside the 35 yard line, wrapped up by Colt again. Has been a three year starter for this team, but hampered by injuries. He keeps one more time. Hard hit, barrels forward, and picks up positive yardage. Roderick's father. John Roderick's father in the Pitt State Hall of Fame. Lob pass, open man, caught. 20 yard line. Inside the 15 is Lorenzo West. Passes, and the girls are on the move. And his teammate LePage went 10 of 26 in the uh, first half. Actually, 10 of 16, excuse me. Penalty flag as Roderick's out of the pistol on second and long. On the ground to Rose. He cuts, met by a man, keeps going. At the 20 yard line, will be brought down. He was first hit by Eric McPherson. Willis could be facing another long field goal attempt. Roderick pumps. Roderick to the end zone. West makes the catch. Lorenzo West, touchdown. I think we're in for another good one here in the second half. Pitt State has the football. John Roderick is going to throw. He's going to his main man, Lorenzo West. Open opportunities off the Tech zone defense, and that is another one of those examples. We see him right there, just steps up, mid-range pass. Don't have to pick it all up at once. Possibly, you know, this gives a free play for a run right here. Eight yard gain, second and two. Roderick keeps, met in the backfield. No gain for Roderick. He has two catches in this game. Roderick with time, finds West at the 40 yard line. And he trailing by 10, less than eight to play third quarter. Roderick runs the option to the right, slips. It may give Roderick one or two by the time this play is done. Wonderful December afternoon. Roderick keeps on the option and Tremel there. Roderick needs the Wonder Boys 49 yard line for the first and incomplete receiver. Roderick and Pitt State start at their 14 yard line, 13 yard line, and they go right back to a John Roderick to throw again. That one is caught. Ramsey Hamilton. John Roderick has taken over since. Throw to Lorenzo West one more time. He's trying to get around the defender, Dio Williams. The rest of the players there. I mean, they're doing a fantastic job for Roderick. 
Panko on the end around. Austin Panko. Quay Rose misses the tackle. Panko still going. He's into Arkansas Tech. Can they get a playoff? They do. Roderick to Rose. Rose bounces off of one defender met by Kristen Trammell. Three starts to become a little bit of a factor. Roderick throws, and that will go incomplete. Do Exactly. Spent some time at Southeastern Oklahoma State, one of the GAC schools. Incomplete pass, Lorenzo West, the intended target. He got hit by the penalty flag. He'll probably be okay with that. He knew that, that Pitt State was eventually going to get one of those third downs to come through. So Pitt State keeps 35-yard line. West in motion. Play action for Roderick. He's going deep down the field. It's too far out in front of Austin Panko. It's been a successful spot here today for both teams. Roderick to Rose. Big open hole for Rose. And he's driven backwards, but he's going to have forward progress. Hit it earlier on second and two. Maybe they could go for a pass play. They'll keep it on the ground again. Rose is met by Seth Culp. Play clock. They do run it. It's a wide open lane for Pitt State's backup. Getting a touchdown. The Gorillas, Keon Shurich. Now Roderick coming in for LePage. John Roderick has performed well. He's going to drop back and pass. He wants to go deep downfield. Lorenzo West. Incomplete. Here comes the flag. <laughs> Get a chance to look at it again. The receiver actually may have been holding on a little bit. Possibly, yeah. And from that angle, and of course, we're looking at it from the side, you get a look there from the back. It doesn't look like there was as much contact at all. Great camera work, by the way. No call there. Dump off into the flats. Rose, Michael Rose past the 30, 35. Rose to Let's go to Rose again. He's good for three, four, eight, eleven. That's Rose on the ground. Six. Right. <laughs> you know. To go has not been able to come back from that. He's a junior out of Bartlesville. They're missing him today. But Rose is doing his job up the middle. Spins into Arkansas Tech territory. Pass this time. Roderick is able to find Andy Odding. Season five interceptions that led the Great American Conference. Play action for Roderick to the middle, up high for Lorenzo West, incomplete. Third and seven. Three receivers at the bottom of the screen. He's going that way. Austin Panko makes the catch inside the 30-yard line. Just enough. You know where the sticks are. You're able to move them. Tech that time sends six. And they're trying to get everything they can. They go with the blitz. It just didn't work out for them. Pitt State nearing the red zone, putting a drive together. Roderick goes for the tight end, Auding again. Incomplete, Quay Rose. Making a point in this game where Pitt State has the ball. We're not calling the play without mentioning Rose. Right. On one side or the other for Tech. Got to keep fresh bodies in there. It's Rose on the ground. 25, 20, Rose down the sidelines, 10, 5. Touchdown, Michael Rose and Pitt. Missed a beat. It's a 27-yard run for Michael Rose. Oh, but still, uh, and he's done a great job. That's been, I think, the biggest adjustment. Handoff goes to Michael Rose, follows the blockers. Quarterback keep for John Roderick. Needed four, picked up that and more. Absolutely. Let's see what happens. Austin Panko in motion, but it is Rose. Rose waits for something to open up. Nothing ever did. One yard gain, it's second and nine, as Roderick does give to Horak. A little bit there, but not much. He's met by several Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys. Huge, huge play here for the Arkansas Tech defense. Roderick finds, guess who, Lorenzo West again. But now you're nearing three minutes to play, and Tech's got to use their timeouts now. I think so, too, and that was just, I mean, we've seen that play, that little slant. In the red zone. It's Rose. Rose breaks away. Michael Rose won. 2.41 remaining. 
Michael Rose does it again on the ground. His third rushing touchdown pit by 10. And Arkansas Tech 31. Carry inside the 20 down to the 15 yard line. Running back again. It's first down and 10 at the Tech 12 yard line. Shurik still running hard. We'll take it near the five yard line. That's, that is the way to go out. Roderick gives to the up back that time, and he's going to carry bodies to the end zone. Another touchdown for Pitt State. Devontae Brown.